Hey there, my name is Dr. Cork and today I'm going to make coffee liqueur at home. Coffee liqueur is easy to make and it is much cheaper to buy something like Kahlua or Mr. Black in the store. The first thing to do is to make coffee. We need as much coffee as we need alcohol. You can use any coffee you like, espresso, cold brew or even instant coffee, just don't use the cheapest one. Personally, I prefer a coffee funnel, since I have one. I use 100% Arabica espresso blend, no Robusta should be present. Remember, only Arabica and don't listen to the nonsense about it being sour without Robusta. A good blend of Arabica is all balanced, while Robusta is used solely to reduce the cost of coffee. First we have to grind about 22 grams of coffee. Moisten the paper filter with water so that the paper doesn't give its flavor, although in quality filters this should not happen anyway. Boil some water and gently pour about 220-230 ml of boiling water in a thin stream, trying to cover the entire coffee grounds. To the separate container put 200 grams of sugar. You can also add about 5 grams of vanilla sugar, but I prefer to use real vanilla. Cut the vanilla pot in half and scrape out the seeds with the back of a knife or a spoon. If you have got not only seeds but also parts of the pod, don't worry, everything will be filtered anyway. By the way, the pod itself can be put in a bottle of vodka and after a couple of days you will have vanilla vodka. Profit. Now we add the vanilla to the sugar, pour in the coffee and stir to dissolve the sugar. When the mixture has cooled a bit and the sugar is dissolved, add light rum. I use this one, but you can easily use any rum you like or half and half rum with vodka or just plain vodka, whichever you prefer. Stir again and pour into a bottle sterilized with boiling water. Close the bottle and put it in the fridge for a few days or better for a week so that the flavors will marry and the liqueur becomes nice and balanced. Then we take the bottle out and filter the liqueur one last time through a paper filter, which I also moistened with water first. The main purpose is to remove the vanilla seeds from the liqueur. And there you have it, homeboy! This is how you make a great homemade coffee liqueur. Which smells absolutely terrific. Now let's compare our coffee liqueur to the commercial one. In this shot glass I pour Marie Brizard and in this one my homemade coffee liqueur. The color is about the same, though Marie's is a bit darker. Also, it is 25% alcohol and mine is about 18-20. Mmm, the coffee flavor is quite nice and bright. If I added a shot of espresso, it would be even more intense. I like mine. What about Marie? A bit more bitter, more bland, I'd say. I guess if you make cocktails with it, you won't notice the difference between these two. Also, mine is made with love. And this one, just for profit. Now let's test the coffee liqueur as part of the dude's favorite cocktail, White Russian. To the old-fashioned glass put a big ice block. I've made clear ice at home, you can check it out if you want to learn more. And then add vodka. By the way, our vanilla vodka will work perfectly. One ounce, 30 milliliters. The same amount of our homemade coffee liqueur. One ounce, 30 milliliters. And single cream, also one ounce, 30 milliliters. Stir a little. Let's have a taste. Very good, wonderful. Even better with this liqueur is white Russian with rum instead of vodka, but then I suppose it will be called white Cuban or in my case white Nicaraguan. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube and Instagram. You can find all the recipes in text form on my website dr-cork.com. The links are in the description to this video. If you want to support my channel and get early access to new videos and additional content, please consider subscribing to my Patreon. Thanks a lot. Drink responsibly and as always, dosidos.